Hey, 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 what it do, what it do? It is your boy, KQKC Boxing Network. And this is another edition of Boxing Updates. And yes, I will be on today at 12.30 p.m. Central Time. And I will have some more updates for you. Now, let's get into this update. Of course, Mr. Xander Zayas, who I look at and regard as one of the top, top contenders that will be in play in the next couple of years. I look at a champion. I look at a one that really, really, pretty much uh, 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 a Puerto Rican descent, but he can fight. I enjoy every time I watch him fight. Have you ever watched or did something that you enjoy so much? Well, that's how it is with me in the sport of boxing. I love the way Neverett fight. I like the groove he gets in. And while he's in that groove, he throw punches and bunches. And also, I like the way Zayas, how he comes straight forward. How he turned that right foot opposite direction of where he's facing. And he had that left foot pointed straight out. That's called balancing yourself. Go back and look at his fights, and you will see that. Now, Xander Zayas will be preparing. Now, get this, my people. He will be preparing to enter the ring on December the 11th. Wow. And we're talking about this year, not 22. This year, this is what we've been crying and hollering about. This is what we're talking about with Gary Russell and everybody else. If you haven't taken any punishment, if you haven't took any punishment whatsoever, what's stopping you from getting back in there? Sure, they have a rule where you can't fight twice a week. Of course they do, okay? But Jared Anderson, Zayas, they are showing us what hunger looks like. They are showing us what being a dog looks like. They are showing us the meaning of practice made perfect. They are showing us that activity makes you a better fighter. And I take my hat off to this young man and any other fighter that wants to step in the ring more than once a year. Or maybe, let me give them the benefit of doubt, twice a year. If you don't have no psychological problems or, or your hand hurt or some kind of shoulder surgery or, you know, don't make sense or you couldn't get the um, deal done. You all are fighters. You are our fighters. And your job is to fight. That's why we pay all the high-ass pay-per-views. That's why we sit up in the bleachers all the way by the bathroom at fights. Because, because, first of all, we are boxing fans, and we supporting your asses. Now, as I mentioned, Zayas is a Puerto Rican prospect who will take a break for a few days. Just a few days, because he fought last weekend and looks spectacular again before returning to the gym on the way to his sixth fight now now count this now 
This will be his sixth fight of 2021. Now tell me, explain this to me. Explain this to me like I'm a fifth fucking grader. How can a man, because he is a man, how can he sit there and fight five times already? Come on, people. Come on, fighters. Get off your ass and earn all the money that you're getting paid. And you're getting paid a lot of money. Trust me on that. Zayas will see action on the 11th of December as part of the undercard to the lightweight fight between Vinicius Lomachenko and Richard Comey which takes place at the MSG in the Madison Square Garden that's in New York City baby that's right now this past Saturday uh, uh, um, past Saturday night uh, Zayas picked up a stoppage win over Dan Capersi. Now, as part of the undercard to the super featherweight clash between Shakir Stevenson and Jamel Heron, and we will talk about that today also. There's more development on that. So, therefore, Zayas is hoping to win this year's. Now, now get this. Prospect of the Year Award. Now, from the Boxing Writers Association of America, they call it BWAA. And I think, I feel, I know, he has a damn good chance of winning. That's right. Look, look, look at Jerry Anderson. Look how he fought three times in four months. Then, when last fight, he came out there fighting a heavyweight, which he is a heavyweight, but he moved and punched just like a middleweight. You can't write this shit. Well, at least you can write it for some guys, and some guys, you can't. This is KQ giving you straight facts, baby. This is what I do. Now, we still don't know who uh, we are going against, he said. We don't know uh, it's going to be eight rounds or it would be my first eight-round fight, he said. Earlier this year, I said I wanted to do six fights and finish with the eight-rounder. And I am doing just that. Salute to this brother. I really like this kid. Now, what I need is to win the Prospect of the Year Award, but we are close. We're going to stay focused. And if I win that fight on December 11th, I could win that award, says Zetas. Now, he was talking to Sarah Hernandez. And you know what? I'm, I, I, I'm wishing for that. Now, I don't have no personal investment or no personal stock or no personal uh, emotional ties to no fighter. But I like this kid. I'm entitled to like a fighter and dislike a fighter on skills and on his skills alone. Now, personal, I can't call it. I can't call it in my business. All I know is what's happening inside the ring, and that's how we look at it right here at KQ, KC. It doesn't matter what color you are. It doesn't matter what nationality you are. It doesn't matter this or that. If you are the best of the best, show me, baby. Show me. I'm like Missouri. I'm the show me state. Show me. Zayas put on a great performance. And KQ don't go out on a limb unless it's a Jamel or Jamal Charlo and saying they are great. 
But lately, Jamel and Char, uh, uh, Jamal has been rubbing a lot of fans the wrong way, especially your number one fan right here. But sooner or later, hopefully, they'll get it together. If not, then, oh, well, you had a good career because no one wants to fuck with you. Nobody wants to work with you. We already see that with Ben Simmons. You know, so, and Rich Paul. So, you know, hey, we already know that. He gets mad at Philadelphia for something else. So what he do? He use his Ben Simmons to fuck over Philadelphia. Do you realize he's still getting paid? I didn't realize that till yesterday. You at home. You say you got psychological problems that prevent you from playing basketball, but they still pay you. Ain't that a bitch? They finna put a rule in. Watch. Just like the WBC like to change rules as they go. Now, back to the video at hand. Of course, Zay wants that smoke. Of course, Zay wants to be that next Tito Trinidad and you know what he's on his way he's tall rangy lanky has a long reach for a person at his division and he here and he here to stay he here right now to make good on his promises now, he's only 19. I get it. You're 18. You're grown. 21. You're okay. You can buy drinks and get in the bars. But this kid is not on that pa- he not He's not on that pattern. He's not on that wavelength. Now, of course, never know. We might see changes as he grow. Become champion, make more money, and etc. etc. Et oh, baby, we got us one here, I believe. Zay has explained that he is prepared to fight over eight rounds because his bout against uh, uh, Capricy, Capricy was initially stipulated to last that long. However, ESPN decided to cut it to six due to production issues on the card. Now, of course, they said I was training uh, 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 at eight, ten rounds a spar. So the physical condition was there. Now what is needed is to continue at this pace. Isaiah stated. Now, there you go. I would love to see Alexander Isaiah become that fighter of the year or prospect of the year. He earned it. He earned it Saturday. He's quiet, he's laid back. He's a nice guy. He's very personal. So I give him a straight up A plus. Now, well, I ain't got a little time in this video. I need for you to understand this. And I'm talking about Earl Spence and your Dennis You guys. Your Dennis You guys. And Earl Spence. The WBA and, of course, Al Heyman and PBC, they are trying to basically keep these guys apart. Now, I'm not saying they don't want a unification. I think they are being greedy. I believe that they think if they can milk it, pretty much like Floyd and Manny did, they can have a mega fight. Well, I don't think that's going to happen. I don't think they're taking the chances they should take. 
Because, see, anything can happen. And we already seen that in the sport of boxing many times. Broken hand, broken this and that. And there you go, your money train. You should have jumped on it when you could, right? So, and plus, it's idiotic. I'm tired of these promoters using fighters as a personal ATM. So, therefore, that's all I have for you right now. We will be covering a lot of things today. Particularly, yes, we will still be going in on Javante, uh, I mean, I'm sorry, well, Javante Davis also. We will be talking about Lopez. We will be talking about Mike Tyson and Lopez. Lopez feels Mike Tyson is a piece of shit. We also will talk about Shakira Stevenson. And yes, and Pample Bob. That's right. He's pissed right now. So Pample Bob might have to make him happy. Or Shakira is out of there. Or he might buy his contract like Floyd did and get the hell up out of there. Now, of course, we will also cover Bud Crawford. Bud Crawford actually giving Kellen Plant some pointers on how to be Canelo Alvarez. Oh, you can't miss this show today, baby. It is here and it's going to be popping at 12.30 p.m. Central Time right here on KQKC Boxing Network. If you haven't subscribed, make sure you subscribe right now. I come on Monday through Friday, 12.30 p.m. Central Time. Tuesdays, I will be off. That's my one day of the week off. And I just started taking that this week. So, therefore... Saturday morning we got a 10.30 a.m. Central Time call in show call in talk about boxing and the upcoming fights who you got the past fights the future fights hell the current state of boxing then on Sunday Saturday nights if there's a fight like this weekend we got three different platforms we got ESPN Plus, definitely is on, and we definitely got Showtime. And you know who's on Showtime, baby. Yes, sir. We talking about none other than the Philadelphia uh, uh, sens- sensation. And we talking about none other than Jerron Boots Anderson. The Lord may going to have his hands full with this young man. Now, I will pull a poll up. I will pull a poll up to see which fight that you all would love for me to call. Because I am calling one of those fights Saturday night. So, with that, the morning after show is coming on. That's 9 o'clock a.m. Central Time. We're going to collaborate on that. You got KO. Boxing 86 TV. You got KQ. <laughs> Boxing Network. Oh, baby. We're going to be on my platform this weekend. It's time to show up and what? Show out. So, with that, that's all I have. I'm going to move on to the next one. And, of course, I greet you with the ancient word of peace. Assalamu alaikum. Peace be unto you. Salaikum Salam. So once again, shout out to the Almighty LDBC. Shout out to New Meters Row. Shout out to Black Black Meters Row. And baby, I'm on. I'm on to the next one. I'll see you at 12:30 p.m. Central Time today. <laughs>